Hello and welcome to this instructional video on how to conduct an in-situ calibration of an AZ oxygen analyzer from ABB. Now today I'm going to be calibrating an AZ20 but this process equally applies to AZ25 or AZ30. If it differs in any way I will point it out as we go through the video. Now before we start our calibration, there are a few things that we must first check or make sure we have in place. First of all, let's check our probe to see if we have AutoCal or restrictors fitted on the label here. Now I always recommend restrictors because this means you are guaranteed to get the correct amount of flow to your sensor from your test gas line, providing you have one bar of test gas pressure. If you don't have restrictors, use a flow meter and adjust the inbuilt valve to get around 2.2 liters per minute. The second thing we need is reference air. We get this from a pump. This is exactly as you would use during normal operation. And again, because we have restrictors fitted, this guarantees we get the correct amount of flow. If you don't have restrictors, again, you must use the flow meter and this time adjust the valve to get around 0.3 to 0.5 liters per minute. Third, we need to make sure we have our calibration test gases. Now we're going to need two gases to represent the top and bottom of our operating range. For our zero or offset point, we use atmospheric air or perhaps compressed air as this saves me having to supply an extra pump. Now remember that compressed air can be a little dirty, so ensure that we always have a five micron filter to catch anything before it reaches our sensor. For the high point or the span gas, we are going to be using today a 3% O2 in N2 mixture. The final thing we have to do before we attempt our calibration is we must make sure our probe is thermally stable. To do this today, I've left my probe turned on for about two hours to make sure it's heated up. If you're doing this in your process and your process has been running for more than two hours, you can assume that this has already happened. We should now have everything in place to conduct our two-point manual calibration. Now when we conduct a manual calibration, everything is connected to TG1. TG2 should remain permanently blocked off. Now the first thing I'm going to do is connect my offset gas or our zero gas. Open the valve. Now we go into our menu, choose standard. Calibrate, sensor cal, manual cal two point, and press continue. Now we just wait for our probe to calibrate the first point. Okay, the probe is done calibrating, so I will turn off test gas one, disconnect. Now I'll connect my span gas my 3% to the same port. Open up the valve and press continue. Now we wait for the second point to calibrate. Our probe has now successfully calibrated and we press accept to finalize the calibration. If you see a failed calibration message, this could be for a variety of reasons. In this event, please either refer to the user guide or contact your local ABB representative. Alternatively, you can use the integrated auto calibration system. This can be purchased with the probe or purchased and added later as an upgrade kit. As you can see here, I've already connected my offset gas to TG1 and I've connected my span gas to TG2. There are a number of ways you can instigate an auto calibration procedure. You can instigate manually via the front screen. You can do it remotely via IO or heart, or you can set a scheduled time interval in the transmitter. Today, to just to demonstrate, I'm going to manually do this through the screen. Enter the menu, go to standard, calibrate, sensor cal, scroll down to two point auto cal and press okay. And now we wait for our probe to calibrate. 
The auto calibration procedure is now complete. Just press accept to finalize the calibration. If you see a failed calibration message, there could be a variety of reasons for this. In this event, either refer to the user guide or contact your local ABB representative for assistance. Thank you for watching this instructional video on how to calibrate Endura AZ Oxygen Analyzers from ABB.